Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve this problem maximum square area by removing fences from a field. So for better viewing experience you can switch the playback speed. So I personally felt this problem was really beautiful and it was really cool problem. I have learned many concepts from this problem. So I recommend you try to solve this problem by yourself. So if you couldn't able to solve then you can come and watch the video tutorial. First we will understand the question clearly then we will see the intuition like how we should solve this type of problems and then we will go to the coding part so first let's understand the problem here you are given large m minus 1 n minus 1 rectangle field with corner set 1 comma 1 and m comma n so he's saying that our corners are 1 comma 1 and m comma n now we have horizontal fences and the vertical fences horizontal fences are are from the coordinates horizontal fences index i comma 1 that means suppose I have horizontal fence at index 2 then I can go from 2 comma 1 to 2 comma n this is my horizontal fence same with vertical fence if I have vertical fence at index 3 I will go from 1 comma 3 to m comma 3 m is my number of columns n is number of my uh, yeah. m is my column rows sorry n is my columns that means horizontal and vertical I, I was a little bit confused don't confuse at all horizontal is something which is row vertical is something which is columns remember that that's it we to return the maximum area of a square field that can be formed by removing some fences which if you remove this fence if you remove this fence how much maximum area we can form maximum area and that should be square and this is the most important thing square only squares are possible and if there is none we need to return minus one we need to remove few of the fences either it can be vertical fence or horizontal fence you can remove all or you can remove few of them it's our wish and we need to return answer by saying that my answer is answer would be very large so 10 power 9 plus 7 is my modulo and is saying that the field is surrounded by two horizontal fences 1 comma 1 to 1 comma n and two two uh, horizontal fences and two vertical fences that means these are my vertical fences and these are my horizontal fences and is saying these fences cannot be removed if you remove this it is going out <laughs> so you can't remove that so he is intimating you we will definitely not remove but in the note he has mentioned that now we will see with this example now he is saying that 4 comma 3 that means this is my 4 rows and 3 columns so I am extremely sorry 4 horizontals 3 verticals ok now 2 comma 3 that means we have 2 and we have 3 and we have vertical fence only 2 and he had removed he had removed this 2 he had removed this 2 and he have removed this 2 and he formed this area this is 2 into 2 which is 4 ok he had removed two fences and you have, you have made this area. Let's see. Uh, suppose we have considered this. Try to think, try to visualize the things for better understanding because this is a problem where visualization is the most important thing. If we explain theoretically, uh, it is not that, uh, that easy to explain. But I will try my best. I will try my best to explain. Suppose we have 1 comma 1 and 9 comma 9 and we have horizontal vertical fences as 3 comma 6 and we have horizontal fences as 2 4 6 now suppose we have removed the vertical fence we have removed 3 that means we have removed 3 this is my this is my new car cardboard i can think of as a cardboard yeah this is my new now if i remove 3 6 minus 1 my vertical distance is 5 my vertical distance I'm sorry this is my uh, yeah this is vertical distance it is 5 and I got this as 5 and let me think let me think this is 5 can I make 5 this distance horizontal uh, horizontal distance can I make it 5 definitely I can make it 5 how I can make it 5 if I remove 2 fence and the 4 fence if I remove both of these fences this will be my new area this will be my new area 5 into 5 which is 25 yes if you have removed 
any of the fins if you have removed three so remove three will try to remove uh, which fins like any of the fins you can remove three and six and you can check if i remove three and six and i am going with nine minus one which is eight and if i remove two four six it, it is also eight sixty four sixty four is my area you can remove everything i am getting more area but we are seeing how we can remove and where exactly my this part will fall now let's see with this most of the examples will get cleared now if, by taking this example here we have removed the fence which is six we have removed six okay we have removed six and we see here this is nine minus four which is five so here nine, nine minus four which is five we have removed what we have removed we have removed six which we have removed this part we have removed uh, this part now if you see if you see this is my this is my nine comma one this is my nine comma one and i have removed six so this is my four four to nine my distance is five my distance is five and um, uh, i have removed six so yeah four to nine my distance is five and how many how many vertical strips you can remove how many vertical strips you can remove if you see here nine minus six which is three you can't remove this nine minus nine minus six we have this is nine comma uh, one comma nine sorry one comma nine if you remove this strip if you remove this strip nine minus six which is three this is not possible because we have five we have five area if you are removing this this is not possible because this can be formed in this way in these directions it can form it can form now if i remove 3 9 minus 3 which is 6 if you remove this this region this region still it is not forming still it is not forming because because it will be uh, with this 9 comma 3 which is 6 which is 5 which is not matching now if i remove 6 minus 1 which is 5 which is 5 suppose if i remove this 3 if i remove this 3 this distance is 5 and 6 minus 1 this is 5 this is 5 and this is 5 and this is 5 5 into 5 which is 25 we got the answer that means anywhere anywhere horizontally or vertically if you subtract if you subtract it 9 minus 6 which is 3 if it is forming here if it is my distance is getting uh, here 5 then you can start from here as well because we have removed complete strip we have removed this complete strip that means this all are same this all are same we only care about this distance this or vertical distance if you remove any strip you here vertical strip we have removed if you remove vertical strip if you this all are will be same this can be same only matter is my this distance only this distance and this distance if you remove only matter is my uh, horizontal distance so try to visualize try to visualize i think you understood it and i have tried my best and i think i have tried my best but i could have done it better i felt uh, so if you see here same thing we mainly focus on differences so here also we are going with the difference part we have st storing that in the set and the first we are pushing and m we are pushing because uh, initial element one we are pushing and m we are pushing for uh, m is for horizontal distances and for vertical distances also we are pushing one comma n one comma n we have pushed it and we have inserted in the set s1 dot insert for every distance now suppose we have vertical distance and i j we are subtracting j minus a every every vert vertical distance we are calculating and every horizontal distances we are calculating and we are in inserting into the set and for every set for i am iterating through s1 which is my horizontal or uh, distances and if horizontal distances matches with my vertical distance somewhere this is my uh, this is my horizontal distance and it is matching with my vertical distance anywhere in anywhere in the grid that means we can form the square that means we can form the square and after forming the square 
we are i into i and we are returning answer modulo uh, answer percentile modulo so here we have used set so after using set i got tle i have done around four to five wrong submissions based on that because i was getting tle then i modified it into unordered set which was working and the difference between set and unordered set you can search it uh, in simple terms i will say set is something which uses trees ordered set uses hash it will use as hash it is computationally very fast if you do if you don't want the order sorted list if you don't want because unordered list won't sort the set it is for insertions deletions and if i want to find something very quickly then unordered set is preferable but if you want to maintain the order then the set is the most preferable way so for unordered set it got passed so you can search the difference what is the difference between set and the unordered set so if you learn something new from the video and if you understood the approach please please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so i forgot to explain you the time complexity so sorry for that here it is taking order of n square mostly order of n square and insertions it will take we are using unordered set so it is in order of n square it is done but in worst case like if you are going with set order of n square into log of n it's going to take order of n square into log of n but there is one drawback for the un unordered set where it will in the worst case it will go to order of n so that in the collisions part may come or may not come it depends on the test cases how the uh, how is given so my time will be this and i am using extra space so it will be order of n so if you are new to the channel please please do like and subscribe so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye